Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to fill the missing part of an image with its already present contents using a fill function called content aware. So right now I'm just making the image the size I want it to. The background, I chose the size of my own background on my computer because I thought it'd be a cool image to use. So after I've selected that, I am going to go to the magic wand and select the empty white space underneath it. After I select that, I'm going to press Shift F5 and it'll say Fill at the top and I'm going to choose Content Aware. After I've done this, you can see that the bottom has filled up with the, previous, with the upper parts of the image. But see, I don't really like this space over here. It doesn't really look realistic. So what I'm going to do is select that space again, click Shift F5, and go Content Aware once again. There's still some points that look a little iffy, so I'm going to go to the Spot Healing Brush and go over some of those patches. You can notice that it's pulling some of the parts of the image up, up above, but it still doesn't exactly look realistic. So we're going to clean it up as much as we can with this tool. And then we are going to go under the same area as the spot healing brush, but choose the patch tool. Now we're going to select an area we don't like, and by dragging it, we can move it to other parts of the images that you would think would fit a little better. Because it is a smart tool, it's actually going to match that area with similar surrounding colors. So I'm just playing around with a few areas, trying to make it look a little more realistic. And it's starting to come together. Uh, one other way to fix these areas is using the healing brush tool, which is under the same area as the spot healing tool and the patch tool. So if you press Alt and click down, you can select an area and then draw over another and it'll bring that area into the area you're drawing on afterwards. This tool's really handy, especially with doing stuff like grass or sky or anything like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, just comment below. Thanks.